The unrest in Egypt means travel in and out of the region is very uncertain right now. A lot of frustrated tourists, American tourists, having a lot of problems. Uh, on the phone with us now is one of those tourists, Regina Frazier, who is stranded in Luxor, Egypt. Uh, she's one of the co-hosts of PBS's Grannies on Safari and was leading a group of tourists uh, checking out various sites in Egypt. Uh, Regina, thanks for thanks for chatting with us. Uh, tell us, uh, how did you did you start out in, in Cairo? And uh, as you made your way to Luxor, how did you get there? And, and what was the scene like? Well, Randy, I, I have to tell you that we did arrive on Wednesday uh, into Cairo. And then we were there a couple of days. And then we headed on to Luxor because we weren't able to get to the Cairo Museum. We were gone to, had gone to Alexandria and were turned away and told to come back. So we flew to, uh, to Luxor to uh, board a ship to do a little Nile cruising. And I'm telling you, it's, this, this has been quite an experience. The U.S. government is uh, encouraging American citizens to think about getting out of the country. They're, they're putting together some flights that are going to start on Monday. How many in your group just want to get out? You know, many of our people just want to get out, and one of them that um, you're going to talk to in a little bit is Laura Murphy, who I think you guys are familiar with. What's interesting, you just gave me new news. I didn't know that they were putting together flights to leave on Monday, and I think that's been really kind of one of the problems that we've had recently, is maybe not getting, uh, getting to the information or getting the information that we need. I'm going to just tell you briefly that I had contacted the uh, uh, embassy here two or three days ago, and, and no one answered, no one answered, no one answered. The phone just kept ringing. And then today I contacted and I, the embassy, and I got someone, and I was so happy. And the person said, uh, I said to the person, gee, you want to find out information? They said, hold on a moment. And I got a recording that said, please go to www.governor, you know, the government website. And I thought, there is no Internet here, in, uh, you know, in Egypt. How could I find out information if the Internet is not working? It's a, it's a point well taken. Let me just tell you and, and tell anyone who's listening who does have access to the Internet, if your Internet line opens up a little bit, travel.state.gov and the phone number they're giving us, 888-407-4747. So for those of you who are watching uh, in Egypt who have access to the Internet or working phones, that's the way to go. If you're outside of Egypt, obviously the information will be easier to get from sources like that. But um, boy, can you imagine being stranded? No, and, and certainly uh, it, it doesn't appear that uh, that there's any end in sight. They don't know when they're going to get out, a lot of these people. Regina Fraser on the line with us, literally from, from a ship on the Nile. Thanks very much.